This will be our last example. It's a drag racer. And the drag racer is starting from rest, and we have an acceleration rate of 10 meters per second for 400 meters. I'm sorry, 10 meters per second squared for 400 meters. So we want to know the time it takes to cover that distance and the speed at the end. Let's see what we know. I know acceleration, so here's this. This is my acceleration. And this is going to be my delta x. So really, the only information I have is that my delta x is, what, 400 meters. And my acceleration is 10 meters per second squared. I do know my v initial. That's zero. That's good. I want T, this question mark, and I want V final, this question mark. So I can look at what equations I have to work with, and I look at the first one. Let's see, that needs a V final. I don't know. I know my V initial. I know my acceleration. I don't know my time. So that one won't work. I know my delta X. I know my V initial. I know my acceleration. So V initial is zero. That one would go away. So I can use this to solve for time. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'll have then rewriting it x, just moving the x naught to the other side, minus x naught equals v naught t plus one half a t squared. Let's cancel out anything we don't need. V naught t, that's zero because the initial velocity is zero. So I can rewrite this as delta x, the quantity I have equals one half a t squared. I want time, so I'm going to move my one half a over to the other side. The one half, multiplying it by two over one, and one over a, and do the same thing to the left side. I end up with two delta x divided by acceleration will give me my time squared. So now we can put in our values. I have 2 times 400 meters divided by 10 meters per second squared. So let's see, we can go ahead and take out one of those zeros, a little less button pushing, and that gives me then 2 times 40 is 80. What units do I have? Well, my meters are going to cancel out. My second squareds are going to pop up top. So I'm going to have second squared, and that equals t squared. So I need to take the square root of both sides. And the square root of 80 is not 9, but close to. No, not 80 divided by 2. Eight point nine four. So t is eight point nine four seconds. And so for my distance, let's see. I can use. I'm sorry. For my speed at the end, I know my time. I know my acceleration. I know my v naught. Ooh, that one looks like it's going to be the closest or the fastest way to get there. So v final is what I want. <coughs> equals v naught plus a t. v naught is zero. So then my final equation, what will give me the piece I want is v final equals a t. And now I can put my values in there. So actually, we'll leave the equal sign. Equals a, which is my 10 meters per second squared times my time of 8.94 seconds. So one of these is going to cancel out. I am indeed in units of meters per second. So 10 times 8.95 or 8.94 is just going to give me 89.4 meters per second. And there you have it.